Welcome in, everybody. I'm Joey. It has been an awesome week for Forza fans, to say the least, and I wanted to wrap it up on this beautiful Friday by taking a look back at our predictions for Forza Motorsport at the Xbox Showcase. And for those of you that didn't watch the predictions video on the channel already, I'll put a link in the description if that's something you'd like to watch. So let's kick it off with our predictions. Oh, and before I forget, thank you to Venino for suggesting the car for this video. It's the Volvo 123 GT, and it's ridiculous in a straight line. Like, most of the classic cars in Forza, it's a bit stiff through the corners, but it was a blast to drive, and come on, I had to pick that IKEA livery. There were no Swedish meatball liveries available, which I was kind of unhappy with, uh, disappointed to say the least, but... I'm good with the Ikea, so we'll roll with it. Anyways, let's get to the predictions and see how we did. So my first prediction was the easy and obvious one. We'd finally get the release date after getting milked dry for a couple of years by turn 10, and we fucking got it, baby, October 10th. That is the day we get brutally murdered by an angry horde of Game Pass noobs. Now, I have to mention, Nostradamus is a subscriber to the Old Tires YouTube channel. Yes, you heard that right. On YouTube though, he goes by the name Ivan. Ivan predicted the exact release date in the comments of the predictions video that I posted just a few days ago. And dude, I don't know where you're getting your information from, dude, but folks, if you want your futures read, you know who to go to. All right. And I started out on a roll because my second prediction hit the mark too. I thought we would see both of the cover cars on stage and we did. We got the Corvette E-Ray, we got the Cadillac V-Series R, and honestly, I was pretty confident we were going to see both of them after Turn 10 decided to use half of their allotted showcase time running what I can only really describe as a GM commercial. but. I am pretty excited that GM is making a pushback on the racing scene with Cadillac and I read an article a month or two back that Cadillac and Andretti won in on the F1 grid so we'll see what comes of that but we got both of the, uh, the uh, man can't talk we got both of the cover cars on stage there we go and that makes me two for two. I won't be going three for three though. My third prediction was turn 10 would announce the demo of the game would be available now. And we didn't get it. I was really hoping they'd say something like, we're so, so sorry for pushing the game's release back, but we want you to get your hands on the game now. And I guess we'll just have to wait on that. But I do think we'll get a demo at some point leading up to October. And if I'm making more predictions, I'd say, it will probably be set at Kailami or that new fictional Eagle Raceway they teased during the trailer, so we'll have to be on the lookout for that. Now here's where my prediction hit rate really started to drop off. If there was anything that I really, really, really wanted to see, it would be the pit stop game mechanics. I've talked about it in a few videos now, and they glossed right over it. What we did see, or I guess what we did hear, was the voice of the game race strategist. Chris Asaki talked a little more in depth about it during the Forza Monthly stream on Tuesday. So the race strategist is going to talk to us during races to give us updates on tire compounds and fuel management and things like that, which is promising to hear. I mean, he mentioned the tire compounds and fuel again, but he pretty much just said the same things we've heard in the past without giving details about how the pit stops are going to work and how we're going to switch tires and how we're going to fuel up and if there's finally going to be like an animated pit crew. So that will be another thing we'll just have to wait for more information on. The next total miss of a prediction was they bring back the Forza Racing Championship. For those of you guys that might not know, this was a Microsoft-backed eSports open tournament they started back in 2016, and my thinking there was they might want to flash some big prize money number up on a screen to attract a bunch of eyes, but they had such a small amount of time for the trailer 
so it doesn't surprise me that they didn't really touch on esports. But the Gran Turismo World Championship was just the other day, so I don't think it was too far out there to think Turn 10 might mention something about it. Prediction 6 was that they live demo the game during the showcase on a wheel, so that was a swing and a miss too. That said, they did demo the game during the Forza monthly livestream, and Chris Asaki walked through part of the single player campaign and showed how it's more of a car building based campaign, which I think is really cool and something totally different from Motorsport 7, which was pretty much just completely centered around car collection instead of sticking with one car and leveling it up. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what this, in the words of Chris Asaki, car PG style of single player is going to be all about. And he said there won't be any loot boxes or microtransactions to buy credits, which is also good to hear. And then on the credits, credits will still be used for purchasing cars, but for upgrading parts, we're going to be using some form of like car points, which I think come with the car levels. Anyways, no matter how it works, some cool stuff coming in single player, and they said they'll be demoing more in the coming months, which I can only assume means multiplayer. And then finally, prediction seven. My last one, and I prefaced it in the predictions video that it's not gonna happen, but if it did, it would be hilarious. They didn't end up announcing a movie for Forza, but I still think it would be hilarious if they announced a film to rival the Gran Turismo one, but it just wasn't meant to be. Turn 10, if you're listening though, I've lost so many brain cells from these online hopper lobbies and I'd be honored to star in a documentary about living with Forza Disorder. So shoot me a message and we'll talk. All right, so that does it for my predictions. Let's talk about some of the thoughts you guys had. Starting with Wyatt, who absolutely hit the nail on the head with this one. He thought we would see some driving and he was spot on. Well done, sir, and thank you for the comment, you smartass. Next up, we've got Will, who hit on a couple of ideas. They teased that new track we were talking about earlier, Eagle Raceway. And I think in a way, they did tease the campaign a little bit with the race strategist and showing the new upgrade screen. So you've got a couple of points there in my book, Will. Batman77, my man from the Netherlands, was looking for an Xbox One version of the game. And yeah, unfortunately, it looks like they're moving fully to the Xbox Series consoles. The good news is Phil Spencer said that they're making the Series X more widely available globally, so that will be available to pick up, but the Xbox One consoles, I guess, are pretty much getting phased out now. And lastly, the form actually was looking for some solid wheel support, and I was right alongside you with that one, man. We didn't see any wheel setups on screen during the showcase or the Forza monthly stream, but Isaki did say that wheel support has been improved. So take from that what you will. I'm kind of in the camp of I'll believe it when I see it on this one. What I really want to know is who is going to have the edge, right? Controller or wheel players. And obviously they're not going to tell us that. And that actually reminds me. I also want to know if manual with clutch will still be the fastest way around the track. Another thing Asaki mentioned on the monthly stream was that assists won't necessarily make you slower on the track. I'm paraphrasing, but that's how I took his comments on assists, so that's another thing to add to the long, long wish list of info that we still need to hear. Anyways, those were our predictions. Let me know what you thought of the showcase and the Forza monthly live stream. We didn't get a lot of info out of the showcase alone, but combined, we got quite a bit of new stuff to think about, so I'm interested to hear what you all thought. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for stopping by and watching the video, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.